Now, from your weather authority, meteorologist Cody Bailey. It was the first official day of spring, and it felt every bit of it outside. Temperatures in the mid to upper 60s, and in addition to plenty of sunshine. Now, we won't see quite as much sun tomorrow as what we had today, but it is going to be several degrees warmer tomorrow than what we had today, and that's all leading into our next chance of some spring-like showers, and quite a bit of heavy rainfall is looking likely as well as we go through uh, specifically tomorrow night, but most of the daytime hours of our Tuesday as well. But a recap of today, just beautiful conditions. Temperatures a little bit above the average. We waited up to 66 degrees for the high temperature at the city of Evansville, the airport, which is a little bit above the normal for 58 for this time of the year. Our morning low, though, a little on the chilly side, down to 30 degrees under those calm winds and clear skies. Those temperatures really fell pretty quickly deeper into the night last night. We're going to be a little bit above normal tonight for our low temperatures, only down into the lower 40s by daybreak tomorrow morning. Outside currently, though, a beautiful scene there. Clear skies, blue lights lighting up the uh, Blue Bridge in Owensboro from a roofclaim.com tower camera and from Ellis Park, our Ellis Park tower camera, looking at the twin bridges going both north and south. Southbound. Looks like traffic moving along just fine here late on this Sunday night and on the US 41 strip from our Heads Construction Tower camera in the city of uh, Owens or uh, Henderson, rather, in downtown Evansville, finally showing some uh, calm conditions as well. Clear skies continuing after a few high, thin clouds moved through earlier this afternoon and evening. And with the clear skies, we are seeing a little bit of a, a mixed bag of our temperature. Some rural locations out in the mid 40s, 46 at the airport southwest of Henderson, 45 Morgan. Field 46 also in Carmi, but still 51 in Evansville, 52 Santa Claus, Owensboro at 50, and even 54 to the northeast, the warm spot right now up in Jasper. Outside currently, no precipitation, and we're going to be staying rain free. Tomorrow is going to again be kind of that transition day, so it is going to be gradually more in the way of clouds versus sunshine tomorrow afternoon, but we won't have to worry about any precipitation. And on our network adopter radar scanning clear as well. A few clouds building in though to our west across most of Missouri, but we are watching that system that's yet to really take shape that you can see a little bit of the spinning motion there of that low pressure system over the four corners that's going to be moving to the east tomorrow and really taking shape and picking up in terms of uh, moisture and a lot of rain on the way by the time that we get to overnight tomorrow night. So again, your Monday is going to be staying dry and that's what future tracker shows dry and clear for tonight. Then a few clouds tomorrow morning. So we'll start our Monday with a mix of sun and clouds becoming partly cloudy by the middle part of the day. And I think close to sunset tomorrow evening, we at least transition to mostly cloudy conditions and then eventually overcast tomorrow night as the rain moves through. Timing wise, it looks like first in our Illinois counties just after about 2 to 3 a.m. tomorrow uh, tomorrow night, early Tuesday morning into the Evansville metro closer to daybreak on Tuesday. And then the first wave moves through by the midday hours. That's the first wave of what could be some pockets of heavy rainfall. Then a more solid area of showers and storms moves through for the afternoon commute and looks to move from west to east rather quickly between about 8 to 10 o'clock on Tuesday night. So kind of waves of off and on showers and storms. But when they do move through, it is going to bring quite a bit of rainfall to the tri-state. A few of those could linger into Wednesday as well, but the widespread rain looks to primarily be confined to Tuesday and Tuesday afternoon. That solid area right over the Evansville metro of those darker purples and the reds, that's about two and a half inches of what our uh, future tracker is estimating. So quite a bit of heavy rain on the way. Tonight, though, we'll be into the low to mid 40s, and then tomorrow, make sure to get out and enjoy it before the rain arrives. Upper 60s to low 70s, and your 70 forecast shows behind that system quite a bit of a, a big difference as we head into our uh, middle part of the week. 62 on Wednesday, and then as that cold front moves through, a little bit below average. So we go from above normal for tomorrow all the way down into the low to mid 50s for highs later in the week. And again, Wednesday to Thursday, we could see some of that kind of draw out with that low pressure system as we go into the middle of the week. But the widespread rain, again, really confined to Tuesday and Tuesday afternoon. All right. Well, thank you, Cody. Mm -hmm.